Despite Caesar's Legion appearing as one of the primary factions in New Vegas, we see very little of it. Almost all of the lands in Fallout New Vegas are contested lands, newly claimed by the NCR or the Legion. The NCR has had many locations that either were a part of it or later became a part of it during Fallout 1 and 2, so we have some idea as to what is going on within their borders. The Legion on the other hand contains notable pre-war cities such as Phoenix, Flagstaff, and Denver that we have never been to in a Fallout title. I intend to explore these locations and others to offer insight as to what might be beyond the borders of the game world. Two of the cities mentioned previously are in the state of Arizona, and this is no coincidence. Caesar formed the Legion originally from the tribes in the Grand Canyon region, which is in the state of Arizona. The capital of the Legion is also in Arizona, but it is not the former capital of the state in Phoenix, it's instead the much smaller Flagstaff. Perhaps Phoenix was hit by the bombs more than Flagstaff because Phoenix was a large and very populous city. Flagstaff is also closer to New Vegas, known for cooler temperatures, and has more sources of water. Not much is known of Phoenix, but there is a 6 foot 5 centurion stationed at Cottonwood Cove named Aurelius of Phoenix from Fallout New Vegas. For those who don't know, Phoenix is located in the Sonoran Desert while also being the 5th largest city in the United States only behind New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Houston, none of which are in deserts. Phoenix very well may be burned to a crisp after being heavily bombed and left out in the desert for 200 years. Another city in Arizona worth noting is Bullhead City, which has an excellent name for a Legion-centric location. We've discussed Bullhead in a previous video, as it's not far from the Las Vegas region as you follow along the Colorado River. Bullhead has a deeper history with the NCR, but it has been stated by the time of New Vegas, all land on the Arizona side of the Colorado River is the Legions, which would include Bullhead. The city sits on the opposite side of the river to another city known as Laughlin, Nevada. Based on the context we're given, I like to imagine that the NCR has control over Laughlin while the Legion has Bullhead, acting as a major stalemate that awaits a decision at the Hoover Dam. We don't exactly know what's going on here though by the time of New Vegas. Next on the list is a town that we can actually visit in-game, at least what's left of it. This location is Dry Wells, a town once owned by the tribe of Twisted Hares, which is Ulysses' original tribe. The Twisted Hares had aided the Legion in taking down many tribes within Arizona as an ally, not an official part of the Legion. If you know how the Legion works, however, it will come as no surprise that Volpes and Culta would betray them, forcing the Twisted Hares to either join the Legion or be crucified along Interstate 40. This interstate was used by the Legion to transport soldiers and supplies across their lands. The crucifixion of the Twisted Hares along this road would serve as a reminder to the men of the Legion what happens to those who do not submit. Dry wells can only be visited after launching missiles from the Divide at it, destroying the location. So we never actually get to see Dry Wells in its true form, further limiting our perspective on what life is like in the Legion. Another location within Arizona that holds relevance to the Legion is the Grand Canyon, or as members of the Legion call it, Magnum Chasma. The Grand Canyon is where a young Edward Sala was sent by his group, the Followers of the Apocalypse, along with a new Canaanite named Joshua Graham as we discussed in a previous video. Sallow and Graham would create the Legion out of the tribes in and around the Grand Canyon, and this is the location where Edward turned Caesar would have Graham covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon. Yet when rumors of Graham surviving emerged, the legend of the Burned Man would be born. Before he was the Burned Man, however, he was the Malpace Legate, a name drawn from the landform which consists of rough barren landscapes that make up much of the southwest United States. Malpace is a Spanish word that translates to badland. If we move south of Phoenix and closer to the Mexican-American border, we find the city of Tucson, which is read like there is not just one sun, but two. The city before the Great War, however, is pronounced Tucson and spelled like Tucson. Tucson was the home of the University of Arizona before the war, which is also true in real life. This is the location where Caesar began collecting old American football gear that would be used as armor by his soldiers. We'll move on to a lesser known location in Camp Willow, which is on Willow Beach, a spot along the Colorado River. It's worth noting that the Colorado River is so relevant to many of these locations because it is also a border between Arizona and Nevada as well as Arizona and California. Given the Legion occupies Arizona and the NCR occupies California and is now looking to annex New Vegas and Nevada, this river acts as a border between the two warring nations. Camp Willow was a military base near Willow Beach that the NCR held. After the First Battle of Hoover Dam, the Legion would assault the camp and push the NCR back over the Colorado River, destroying Camp Willow. 
the Legion would also assault the Arizona Spillway on the Hoover Dam and push the NCR back there. These two events really help set the scene and draw a picture for the current fight between the Legion and NCR. The Legion won the first battle of Hoover Dam, but largely because the Rangers drew the Legion back into Boulder City, which was lined with C4. They would then blow the city up as many Legion forces flooded the area. Considering this reality, that the Legion on their first attempt essentially took the whole of the dam, and the NCR had to rely on a last ditch effort that sacrificed many of its own members as well as a town in the process, does not pair well with the fact that the Legion would then subsequently win more battles. They kicked the NCR off of the Arizona side of the Colorado, crossed over to Cottonwood Cove and established a large base on the Nevada side of the river, and took the town of Nelson, which was a strategic priority for the NCR, destroyed another NCR military base at Camp Searchlight, and destroyed the town of Nipton, which is right outside the Mojave Outpost. Point being, despite the NCR winning the first battle at Hoover Dam, every other example that we have of battles between the two has the Legion coming out on top. There aren't many locations that I can think of, if any at all, where the Legion held and then the NCR has now occupied them. Many players will take note of the enormous howitzer gun that the Legion have stationed at the fort, which they would collect off of Dale Barton, who would pick it up from the Yuma Proving Ground in southwest Arizona, a former military camp. Now if we move north of the Legion's current capital in Flagstaff, we run across a location known as Fort Abandon. The fort was formerly under the control of the NCR when it was under the name of Fort Aradesh. Aradesh, if you don't know, was the original leader of Shady Sands and the father of Tandy. Tandy, who we get to interact with in the first two Fallout games, would go on to be a very, very long-standing president of the NCR, so long that Caesar compares her to a monarch as she was the daughter of the previous leader and served as president for the vast majority of her life. The Legion would conquer this fort and thus it would be renamed Fort Abandon. It had connections to Van Buren, the original Fallout 3 being made by Black Isle before it was cancelled, Black Isle would close and Fallout would be sold to Bethesda. A tale for another time. Now we can move on to the tribe of the Twin Mothers. This is another location that has a connection to Van Buren, but for the purposes of this video, we'll only cover the aspects that are canonical to New Vegas, we'll cover Van Buren in a different video or two. With that being said, I must mention that Van Buren puts the Twin Mothers specifically in Colorado, whereas in New Vegas, Ulysses simply states that they are east of New California Republic territory, or were east. He notes that the Twin Mothers were a tribe that enjoyed finding the lesson in the trials of life, but that Caesar would teach them their last. Ulysses implies here that Caesar would absorb and destroy the Twin Mothers along with their home in Colorado. The Twin Mothers developed the bitter drink, which has a comparable effect to morphine. Oddly enough, this antidote would be used by the forces of the Legion despite drugs and alcohol being strictly outlawed. They would use this substance to help overcome the difficult location of the Crimson Trail, another fitting name for a Legion-centered location. The Crimson Trail is another location mentioned by Ulysses as he notes that the soldiers were sent here on forced marches. One could assume that this was a particularly brutal area, difficult to navigate and survive the elements while traversing. We're beginning to reach the end of known locations within the lands of the Legion, which brings us to the pre-war capital of Colorado, Denver. This location offers a particularly interesting addition to the Legion. When Caesar arrived outside of Denver, the Legion would run into a tribe known as the Hangdogs. The Hangdogs put up a particularly difficult fight, displaying admirable resilience. This resilience would bend and bend until finally Legate Lanius would use this instance to further solidify his name and image within the Legion. The Hangdogs had an excellent relationship with their hounds, as their name suggests. Denver in the post-war became overrun by feral dogs, but not just feral dogs, as there were also pre-war police cyber dogs roaming the city. This is actually where the companion Rex is from. Lanius would begin to burn the feral dogs alive while the hangdogs watched in terror. The hangdogs had developed a spiritual admiration for the beasts, making them the spirit animal of the tribe. To them, if the dogs were burned alive, they would burn into the afterlife. They would fold and bend the knee to Lanius's brutality. 
To be clear though, Denver is not free of this feral dog threat however, as the Legion continues to use this city to gather their hounds. Though the hangdogs, like every other tribe in the Legion, would have their identity and culture wiped out, they would be implemented as the hound masters within the Legion and help integrate the dogs into the Legion's forces. Unfortunately, we don't know much about other locations within the Legion's territory. Some extra clues can be drawn from what remains of Van Buren, but that game was incomplete and isn't considered canon, and will never see the light of day as interesting as its additions to the universe might have been. I would love to get a chance to play a Fallout that allows us to go beyond their borders and see what the wastes are like in Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. There's also the chance that Caesar's Legion envelops much of Utah if they absorb the tribe of the White Legs, North of White Lake Territory and west of the remains of New Canaan, another tribe of raiders known as the 80s exists. The 80s are a brutal group that exist along the remains of Interstate 80, a highway that leads straight into northern NCR. Taking this land and these tribes, though a giant task, would offer an extreme advantage as their fight with the NCR continues. I love to imagine a world where we can get a game that takes a chunk of NCR land, a chunk of Legion land, and sits New Vegas right in the middle of it all. This way we can truly get an idea of the two nations seeking to claim Vegas as we build into the Battle of Hoover Dam. Speculation and pipe dreams aside, thanks for watching.